Hello everyone, this is Dr. Ahmed Ergin, your endocrinologist, and today I'm talking to you about something very important, our liver, right? So everybody goes to the doctor when they have a gallbladder problem. Why? Because it hurts, right? So it's called biliary colic. Well, that's great that you're going to the doctor, but how about your liver? Do you really have liver pain? Not really, right? Similar to kidneys, we don't really have pain in our liver or kidney unless you have a kidney stone, then you have a kidney pain. A lot of people will say, oh, I have, a, I have a kidney, I have a kidney pain. Kidney doesn't hurt, okay? Unless you have a kidney stone, which puts you to the hospital. So let's get rid of that idea of my flank pain is equal to kidney pain. It's not. Now, by the way, remember guys, Ozempic, Monjaro, all those GLP-1 agents can cause flank pain. A lot of people don't know this. So if you are having flank pain, talk to your doctor about the GLP-1 agents that you may be taking. Now. Having said that, we are talking about liver today, so let's not jump to topics. So when it comes to liver, liver is the big sponge, right? It filters everything from your blood. All the toxins, all the fat goes through your liver, through a hepatic vein, and then your lymphatic system drains there. So there's a lot of things going on in your liver. So you have to really protect your liver. Now, when you have diabetes, there's a lot of problems, right? There is a lot of oxidation, peroxidation, that's, you know, you can call that in lay term, like rusting in your body. Now, it affects your liver. Did you know that only 5% of people know that they have non-alcoholic fatty liver disease? A lot of diabetics actually have it, but they don't even know because they're not tested or regular testing does not show it. I'm gonna tell you in a second what test may be more sensitive or specific when it comes to liver problems. I'm gonna tell you how to protect your liver. And today we're gonna to talk about the milk thistle as well. I know a lot of you are curious about the milk thistle, how it protects the liver. But in reality, seriously, I mean, you have to protect your liver because cirrhosis is extremely difficult condition to manage. You start bleeding in your esophagus. You start developing a lot of fluid in your abdomen and doctors have to constantly pull the fluid out. It is a torturous way to live. And most people don't know until they are told that they have cirrhosis and they didn't even know, right? So the test, let's talk about that. So there's something called fibrosis four test or FIB4 test. So it tests for AST, ALT, accounts for your age and also accounts for platelets. And then if you have certain score, you need to do further testing. It could be like elasticity test in your liver, right? And eventually, sometimes some people need biopsy to really see if there's any cirrhosis. But how do we really protect our liver? So, of course, eating well. We talk about this in this channel and sugar and be all the time, right? So, eating well, taking good supplements, exercising daily, all of these will help you. However, if you already have diabetes, you may need some extra protection. That's where the milk thistle comes into play. Now, milk thistle, available everywhere. You can buy it everywhere, but I wouldn't recommend that. So if you come to sugarmds.com, you're gonna find the best milk thistle. It is 100% milk thistle. Now, it is 1,000 milligram, that's what we have on our website here. Now, I'm gonna tell you, not because we have on our website, but I'm gonna tell you how it really does help. And you can actually go and go to PubMed, P-U-B-M-E-D, and search for milk thistle studies. You're gonna find a lot of good information there yourself as well. What I'm doing here, I'm just basically filtering that information as a doctor and giving it to you, like spoon feeding you basically. Now, milk thistle is a great antioxidant. Like I said, there's a lot of oxidation and peroxidation that happens in the liver, and that leads to the inflammation and damage in your liver. So milk thistle is a great antioxidant agent. That's number one. Number two, it is antifibrotic. So fibrosis happens before cirrhosis happens. To prevent cirrhosis, you have to prevent fibrosis. That's why the test fibrosis 4 is done, or FIB4 or FIB4 test is done, to see if there's any fibrosis to begin with so that it can be reversed. So milk thistle help prevent fibrosis in your liver. It's also a toxin blocker. So basically a lot of toxins, like I said, goes to your liver and then damages the cell membrane of your liver cells. So milk thistle will negate, will basically eliminate those toxins from your liver. Now, in a pooled analysis of all the slimmerin studies, which is milk thistle, by the way, the liver-related deaths were reduced in people who take slimmerin. And in patients with diabetes, it also actually reduced 
the blood sugar as well. So you can think milk thistle or silymarin as a good help for your liver as well as a great help for your blood sugar as well. Not dramatic, but good help. Especially people who take acetaminophen, for example, or paracetamol, thylenol, whatever you call it, right? So there is a small amount of damage. So a lot of people have some pains and aches. They take these. People are exposed to radiation of all sorts, right? Occasionally you drink alcohol. All of these things are actually damaging your liver. So milk thistle has been shown to help with acetaminophen-induced damage, radiation-induced damage, alcohol-induced damage, even viral hepatitis induced damage and not to mention we have so many environmental poisons nowadays right all these environmental poisons really are accumulating in your liver and creating a lot of inflammation and fibrosis so mythosyl is going to be your best friend because that is going to protect you so what we're we gonna do we're gonna take our mythosyl pop it seal Here's a milk thistle. Let's look at two capsules, right? Okay, I almost forgot. So two capsules of milk thistle in pure vegetable capsule. We are gonna take that with some nice Italian sparkling natural water. Now I feel better because I know I was exposed to some toxins today and I can trust that my milk thistle will protect me now. That doesn't mean that I can go drink alcohol now, go do whatever I want, because naturally I'm being exposed to all sorts of toxins in the environment, and I love my liver. That's why I'm taking my milk thistle. So if you have any questions about milk thistle, please let me know. I will try to answer your questions as best as I can. I'm not your personal doctor. I don't know you personally, so I cannot give you personal advice, but I'm going to give you the best evidence out there about milk thistle and how it can help you. So write in the comments what you think about the milk thistle, how you can take it. All these questions can be asked and I'll do my best to help you. There's little to no interaction with other medications so you can safely take milk thistle. So visit sugarmds.com right now, order your milk thistle and I'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. Uh, it, if you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.